What do you know about air hockey that the general public does not know? Uh, I just think that the amount of strategy and the amount of focus that really goes into it to play at a high level. I think it's so easy to see it and dismiss it as a as a kids game, as an sure. arcade game, right. at its base level, and that's it. Right. And when you come to an event like this, you see that there's just so much more involved. Yeah. And you can really see the differences between somebody who's just starting out yeah, and yeah. somebody who's playing at an elite level. Yeah, you know? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What's something that you know about air hockey that the general public does not know? That there's levels to it. Okay. Um, I think a lot of people get this when they play video games at home. You beat your friends, and you're the, I'm the best person there is at this game. Right. And then you uh, you play a regional tournament, and you get your butt kicked, and then you know, one day you go back, you do well again, and you think, I'm the best there is at this game. Yeah. Uh, then you come to Nationals, and you realize yeah. that you're not the best you're there is at this game. Yeah, absolutely. I know that there are tournament quality tables and non-tournament quality tables, and the ones uh, that aren't tournament quality aren't as fun to play on. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you're darn right. Well, what do you know about air hockey that the general public does not know? Ah, man. I think it's one of those few individual competitive sports that literally anybody can play. And, right. and, Succeed at, do yeah. really well at. Yeah. What is something you know about air hockey that the general population does not know? That it's a lot harder than it looks. You have, you know, people that will go to the arcades and they'll play and they think they're really good and they might be, right? But it's a lot harder. It takes skill. It takes skill. You have to learn shots. Right. And it takes skill and it's hard. Yeah. Uh, that is more than just a game for fun. It's, some people play it for fun. Some people also some people also play it very competitively. Right. And there there are different levels to it. And coming here to the World Tournament for the first time, you you really get to see. Yeah, you see the difference. That's awesome. something you know about air hockey that the general public does not know? I would say the biggest thing is like the general public doesn't know how to do like a good defense. I feel like you can play somebody in an arcade and like they know what they're doing, of course they can hit a good shot, but the thing that really gets them is when you put your, your mallet out a bit further for defense, you're like what is that? Like, right. I would yeah. say like you do that, you're better than like 90% of air hockey people in the world. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I know that's a lot more controlled than most people think. Um, and if you go to arcades and stuff, you notice a lot of people seem to hit the puck back and forth. Uh, with air hockey, there's actually setups and there's actually strategies that most people don't know about, I think. Yeah, absolutely. The real reason we're here is to find out who is the number one air hockey player on the face of the planet. The general public probably just that it's possible to basically pick people apart in a lot of different ways in air hockey. Right. Um, I know that there's a skill cap that people wouldn't even believe is possible yeah. to obtain. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, there's a lot of strategy involved, that's for sure. Yeah. And I don't think people see it like that. They just see it as a dad, son, you know, at the arcade, right. just hitting sure. the puck. And now, yeah. Yeah, there's so much strategy involved. Uh, the level of competition, the level of, of skill set and deception that there is behind the gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just knew just hard hits, you know, just right. trying to get that straight shot or that sure. tricky bank shot, but yeah, now yeah. it's just deception in how you hold the mallet and right. a bunch of stuff that I, I didn't know before. No before. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I'd say that there is a huge competitive aspect to it. Like most people, like, 
even people I'm super close to, they'll have no idea, like, that Colin, my brother, right. is as good at air hockey as he right, is, right. and that there even is a scene like this. Right. And, like, I'll tell them, oh, yeah, my brother's air hockey world champion. And they're like, what? what? Yeah, There's what air hockey, hockey championships? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. Like, no, I've never met a single person yeah. who knew, like, at all, that there was a right. competitive scene. So. Sure. Okay.